Ken. Thanks, Justin. And as farmers across the region grapple with increasingly dry conditions, they are working to harvest their crops. Reporter Justin Kraft has more on the story. In the landscape where cracked soil and wilted crops has been the norm, farmers are coming together to make the most of what they can harvest. Around here, we're, I would say, more ahead of schedule this year just for the fact of the drought. A lot of our dry land crops, they burned up and dried up way early. Um, the amount of water, we're on limited irrigation, so on our irrigated, we had to shut the water off a little early, so therefore the plant died a little prematurely. Uh, down in this pocket of where we're at, south of Wallace, north of Hay Center, we just hardly got any rain. As farmers adapt to these challenging conditions, safety remains a top priority. Static electricity can be caused by some of the elect, um, equipment that's out there, so a lot of chains are drug around to help ground equipment. Um, obviously watching for power lines and keeping a close eye, you know, you start hearing a weird sound or something, rather you're getting out right away, checking on bearings, checking on chains. If anything looks remotely hot or you just kind of get that knack, you know, something isn't right, we've got to check this out ahead of time. Sullivan expressed the financial strain this drought has imposed on their operation. It hurts our operation for the fact financially. I mean, rain makes corn and you sell that corn and that's our profit. So when it's not raining, the corn doesn't produce yield. Therefore, we don't have any crops to sell or near as much. And that balance sheet definitely gets a lot tighter, if not into the negatives for sure. I mean, we're already below break even costs this year just with market prices. These challenges emphasize the unwavering determination and resourcefulness that farmers must embody to succeed in the face of adversity. Reporting for KNOP News 2, I'm Justin Kraft. The North Platte City Council addressing long desired infrastructure updates on the city's north side of town on two 